What's going on YouTube? This video is an update um, to the issue I was having. The clicking on the front end of the uh, ZL1. Um, if y'all followed the video, you remember the car went in the shop when I first bought it. Kept making a clicking sound every time I would do a hard turn. So today, I'm supposed to finally get my shipment of the BMR uh, sway bar inlinks to come in. UPS should be pulling up and just a few. Um, long story short, I ordered the parts like last month and uh, they got a lot of space in it. I had to file a claim. Uh, they had to do some investigation, but um, Beefcake Racing is the uh, company I ordered them through. They finally got me straight. They resent out another set and they should be arriving today. And then uh, uh, we'll be installing those. But I'll show y'all what the old ones look like and how I got them off. So basically, it's this bar right here. This right here, I got it loose, that's why it's wiggling. But it's basically this bar right here. And so you can screw up the top and one behind on the back back there. And once you get those out, you can just pull it out. And it comes right out and that's what it looked like. I believe this is the culprit that's causing me all of that, uh, that clicking noise. It doesn't do it all the time, but it does it some of the time. It's annoying when it does it car is fairly new shouldn't be making any noise but this is the tool that you need to get that off it looks like a regular socket but it's not it's actually a pass-through socket because as you can see on the end of these you have a hex head you basically have to basically have to insert this to keep that whole thing from spinning Keep the thread from spinning because if you don't and just use this this will spin you will never get it off so basically this has to go here i just got the extension on there because the top the top bolt was a little bit uh a little bit hard to get outside of each extension so basically you put this on here and this has to go in here to stop it from spinning once you do that, it comes off uh, with a little bit of force behind it. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping this solves my issue. I mean, it wasn't a lot of money that I had to uh, order the other sway bar end links, but um, when they get here, I'll show y'all. They're way more beefier, and they have the uh, the dessert fitting on the back, so you can you can grease them. These ones, as you can see, and uh, they not the best, and they're real thin and flimsy. So yeah. I'm gonna replace those on both sides and see if that does the trick. I'm really hoping it does. And uh, that should solve my problem. All right, folks, uh, UPS just finally showed up. So these are the replacement parts. As you can see, it's a big difference. <laughs> big difference. And what we're working with. Um, these are fully adjustable. Um, so once I adjust them out, and tighten them up they'll be the same length as these ones so i should be good to go and now i'll check and make sure they got uh, grease in them so i'll get those put on the car and i'll show y'all how i look let me put the first one on all right finally got both sides on and both sides uh all buttoned up let's take a peek and see what it looks like that's the new bar sway bar in link um, filled all of the zerk fittings up with grease, top and bottom, so they're good to go. Um, once I get a chance to drive it tomorrow, I give you an update to make sure 100% the noise is gone. But I think this should be the, uh, the fix for it. Um, I know a lot of people have been having this issue, but like I said, we should be good to go now. So um, that ends the video. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheels and everything back on. Um, it's a little too late to start the car and drive it. So try to respect the neighbors. But yeah, I give y'all an update as soon as possible and let you know what happened. Appreciate y'all, thanks for watching and shout out to all the new subscribers, I appreciate you. More videos to come.